All right, everybody, it's Greg Festo. I've got a guest with me today. It's Tony Soprano. Right hey, there in the flesh. Th thank you, thank you. And uh, Tony's the one who sent us the meter and the charger for testing this battery right here that we did that video on. And uh, he actually brought some meters by the day. But first, what we want to know is, uh, Tony, what made you interested in batteries? Well, it was really hard to determine what the status was. Unless you went to an auto store for them to hook up the meter, you would never know where it was at. I mean, you might have a clue, but you never know the, the uh, actual health of the battery. Okay, that sounds good to me. Uh, next question is, how did you get the name Tony Soprano, man? Are you in the mafia? <laughs> uh, I can't divulge anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. All right, well, let's get into these meters. We'll check them things out and see what do we think. Um, first one we got is this blue meter that you might have saw in one of the videos. And what's this one called, Tony? Uh, this is the 101 series, top down company. That Not made this very one. much to it. It uh, doesn't have batteries in it. It um, powers up off the off the car battery, which I think all these do. Doesn't have much of a smell to it. <laughs> all right, I always smell everything, Tony. Man, I got a problem. <laughs> all right, this is the next one. What's this one, Tony? Uh, this is one an Encel. Now, this is model I'll never. I know it's on the market on a few items, but I haven't really looked close at this one. But uh, I think it does basically the same as the the other two models that we got here by top down but um it was so it was just really a comparison between the other two okay awesome and uh it's bigger than the uh, first meter and uh weighs just a little bit more and i believe it also powers up off the battery <laughs> doesn't really have much of a smell to it well i don't why do all rubber products from china always got that PVC smell. Well, you know, it does seem like when you first take them out of the box, <laughs> they, they have like a certain PVC smell. It's like maybe uh, everything in China smells like PVC. I don't know, Tony. <laughs> oh, that, could, that, could be, that could be something. <laughs> All right, what's this one? All right, this one is top down, too. This is the BT100. Oh, same model. size as that first one. And uh, I notice that these leads are longer on this one. Those ones are nice. They did a good and, job. And uh, the, the alligator clamps look a, a lot beefier than those on, on this one as well. <laughs> that one does have a little bit of a PVC smell, <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> so uh, this one's a genuine Chinese. I can tell by the smell. Yep, yep. All right, so uh, I guess what we need to do is, uh, is go ahead and test them, and we'll see... Uh, do they read close to each other? That's what we All right, we're here know. with our battery and our three different meters that we want to test. And I still have the man, Tony, in the house. And uh, we'll first talk about this battery that we're going to test. This is an old-ass battery from October of 2010. And we went ahead and just put it on the regular charge from a charger, a seven-stage charger. And now the charger said that it had 12 volts and that it was okay, uh, that it was fully charged. So we're gonna, of course, try that theory with these different meters and at the same time see how close these meters read to each other. So the three meters that we're testing again here are the Top Don BT100, which is the one that Tony now has in his hand. The second one we're gonna test is called the Top Don 101, which is this guy right here. And the third meter we're gonna test is the Ancel BST100. Which is this? I would expect some drift in it. I, you know, I don't think the tolerances on the on the components inside really are like tight. You think right. No, I would agree with just you. Just the battery that. test menu, and then let's see, regular flooded. Okay. And then we'll go to the CCA. Make sure that's got inputted right. Okay. So CCA is the cold cranking amps. And yeah, this one right here says that it has 850 cold cranking amps. Okay. As soon as I press it, the should start testing. Okay. Oh, so we got a little meter running here and it says testing with the bar running across. All right. The results are... Oh, we got a result. Damn. A light lit up over here. It says bad, Tony. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, that's just it. You know, you got a health of only 25%. Okay, so it says the battery health is 25%. Right. Okay. And it's only got a capacity for 425 cold cranking amps now. 
that's what you're down to. How many? Four hundred twenty-five. Okay, so <laughs> so it says the cold cranking amps is four hundred and twenty-five cold cranking amps. Well, uh, that's exactly <laughs> half of what it's supposed to have. <laughs> so maybe maybe just one one half of the battery's working. <laughs> All right, so it's it's got a charge of seventy-three percent. Uh, the voltage is twelve point forty-four. Okay, the charge is what, sir? The charge is showing at 73%. 73%. Okay. Uh, then we have an internal resistance of 7.04. That one down. Mega ohms. And that one number with that that the uh, internal resistance, that that number there, I don't know how much that varies as far as the, the, the battery gets. As it gets older, the resistance goes up or yeah. down. So I've been trying to watch this number on a few batteries that I've tested. Just okay. to see what it does. Between a healthy one and an old one, this way you know. Okay, interesting. And it's what I find also interesting is that it says the health is at 25%, but the charge is at 73%. So that that doesn't seem real good to me. It, it does. So, have, yeah, it is a large <laughs> span. That testing mode looks the same. It's test, testing about the same font with that little thing that goes across. The, the numbers are right on us. Oh, yeah? Healthy, 25%. 25% health, okay. And the charge is 76. Charge 76? Right. Hmm, okay, the other one said 73. Did it? Yeah. And then uh, cold cranking games, 425. Oh, that's the same as the last meter. And what does it say that um, resistance mode me uh, reading is? Okay, so the internal resistance is 7.07. Let's see there, let's see what we get this time testing with the little bar that goes across that looks kind of similar yep the display on this one's bigger than the other ones uh now the health on this one says 24 percent the health is at 24 percent okay cold cranking amps is 417 okay charge 51 percent okay that's that's How, a, what does it say the voltage is tony the voltage is 12.31 and what does it say? The uh, does it have a resistance mode on it, that one? This one here, internal resistance is seven point one four megahertz. Your opinion after seeing all three meters, Mr. Tony, what, what would you, uh, what would be your final opinion? Well, I would definitely s I would give it a charge and see, and then take the test again and see what the results are after you charge it off up. Okay. And uh, as far as the meters go with the tests that we did today, which one would you say is the best? I mean, after I've seen all three of them now, there's no one particular one that that, I'll, that I favor, so. Okay. So basically, if you are looking or trying to choose between the three of these type of meters, choose the one that's the least amount of money at, at this point in our testing. Right. Okay. There, there you go. I like that. Tony. Save money. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for trying to save that money. It was good hanging out with you, Greg. All right. Thank you, man. We'll see you all later.